What's up guys? Welcome back. What I have for you today wasn't necessarily planned. Um, unlike the last couple of videos I did, there isn't really many upgrades I've made so far uh, in the last week. But what I did do uh, was something that was suggested by somebody in the comments, which I thought was actually an amazing idea. Somebody mentioned that we should totally build the dungeon. And it hadn't dawned on me uh, after building this thing out and getting it to the point that it is now that that's exactly what this base is missing. It's missing a dungeon. So let's go inside. I'll show you what I got so far. Um, now just there's a couple things in here that I had to enter cheat mode in order to give myself because it's just not possible to get some of the items um, that I used in the game anymore. Um, but other than that, cheat mills turned back off. I was trying to think about where I wanted to put it. And, um, uh, I don't, I didn't like the idea of digging underneath the base. Um, uh, cause this is already, this is the second, this is the third floor here. Technically, this is the basement right here, which doesn't go that far, but there is a, there is a bar back here, our little tavern. And, uh, I don't like the idea. I don't like the idea of digging again underneath it because you start to get to the point where I'm questioning how like the structural integrity of the walls and whether certain walls are being overloaded or not. So I didn't want to get to that point and dig directly underneath here. So we go to the map real quick. This is our fort. And this dungeon is actually way over here. I dug a tunnel away from it. And it's probably about right around here in the middle. Uh, so the tunnel was a little bit further than it needed to be. Um, but I did it just kind of for aesthetics to have like a long entry. So this is the front. Um, I put in some dart traps here temporarily because I wasn't sure if zombies would spawn over here or not. Um, being that it's technically outside of our land claim block zone. But so far so good. Alright, here we go. So this is the dungeon. I guess you could call it a crematorium too, because there's a furnace down there. So I'll show you guys in a second. So some of these objects, like the body bags, um, I don't know of a way of getting them without using cheat mode and giving them to yourself. These jail cell doors, um, same thing. You got some body bags in here, the gurney. You can't craft that. You could probably purchase it, but you can't craft it. Now this right here, my pride and joy, Got a couple bodies in there. That's actually a forge back there. Um, so this furnace design itself was actually I got from another YouTuber named Quill Gaming. I will put a link in the description below uh, to his YouTube channel and a video where I got the idea for the design idea for this furnace. Um, I only barely slightly modified it, and really not really. I just put the door opening up from the top. He had it opening up from the left. But his I thought his idea and his design uh, was genius. So I did kind of the same thing. Um, but yeah. Put some bodies in there. You know. Um, my dream would be to be able to have live zombies behind these cells. You know, close this off. Um, but only if I could find a way to get them not to attack. If I could like somehow spawn in a zombie um, and have it just not break anything. Just kind of wander around in there and not react to us walking down here. I think that would be amazing. So if anybody knows of a way to do that, I know, uh, using debug mode or command console, there's a way you can spawn in zombies, but then they're active. So I don't know of a way to spawn in one that's not active. So if anybody knows of a way, please let me know in the comments. Um, I would love to be able to do that. But yeah, this is this is literally all I wanted to show you guys because I was super excited about this. I thought it was super awesome. Um, it's one of the uh, the few things I've made to this fort um, that really wasn't necessary, but I just thought it was such a freaking cool idea, so I had to do it. Um, so literally, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the comments. I uh, really appreciate everything. Um, Hope to see you on stream sometime. I stream Mondays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, not always seven days to die, but Saturdays are typically seven days to die. Um, and enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.